What is going on guys, it is Ashley here, welcome back to another Ash Tech video. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on iOS 11. Now, iOS 11 came out um, on the 19th of September, uh, so that's just over a month ago now. Uh, and I got iOS 11 a couple of weeks ago, and today I just want to give my thoughts on iOS 11 and, and the f features I just really, really like about iOS 11. Now, the first thing about iOS 11 I really, really like uh, is the screen recording feature. Now, the screen recording feature, I found out about, about a, I want to say a week ago now. Um, about a week ago, I found out that in iOS 11, they've added this feature where you can actually screen record. So... You no longer have to go scouring around the app store uh, on your iPhone to try and find a decent free uh, screen recording software for your iPhone. Apple has put a stop to that because they've made their own screen recording um, app right inside your control center. And I thought, I I honestly thought until a few hours ago that you could own that iPhone success phones and up could only use this feature but I've got an original iPhone 6 which I'm recording off right now and I found that you don't need an iPhone 6s or or above uh, to, to use this feature you can actually use it on older phones you, because I found that I, I googled if it was possible and it was so um, what you have to do is you have to go into settings and then you have to go into uh, scroll um, scroll down until you reach control center, and then it should say something like customize controls, and uh, scroll all the way down again, and uh, there should be a feature called screen recording, and you can just tap the green uh, plus icon. And you're ready to go. You can now screen record, and it's really, really helpful for people who who want to make YouTube videos. Uh, so if they're doing gameplay, so if you if they're uh, playing something on their iPhone and they want to sh uh, record it on YouTube, um, so say if they're playing uh, if they're playing something like Cricket Captain, which I've got on my iPhone, and uh, I'm probably gonna do. Uh, like a, a few videos on, on my main channel about um, because of this screen recording software uh, thanks to this screen recording software that will that will allow me now to do a couple of videos probably on that and if I do get some more games for my iPhone I, I'll obviously I'll, I'll obviously probably record them uh, because my main channel is about gaming uh, one side of my main channel is anyway uh, but yeah if someone wanted to play like a game like Cricket Captain or something like that, or FIFA for mobile, then with this new feature in iOS 11, they can now do that, which is a very, very good feature, uh, a very, very handy feature as well, so you don't have to waste all that time scouring the App Store to try and find a decent record screen recording software for your iPhone that's actually free and you don't have to pay for. That's one feature I like. Now the second feature I like and it's kind of grown on me. I didn't I had mixed feelings about it first at first. But as 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 uh, as I've used iOS 11 on my iPhone more and more and more, I've, I've adapted to it, and 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 it actually it, it, it's changed my opinion on it. Uh, and that is probably a minute, a very minor feature, but uh, it's on the home screen, and it's getting rid of the titles on on like the on like the the dock. Um, at first, I thought it was a bit it was a bit weird. Um, obviously, uh, but obviously it's going to be weird because. It's a new feature. It's obviously going to be weird, but but as as these weeks have grown on of, of me using iOS 11 on pretty much a daily basis, it it's just grown on me now, and, and I'm used to it. I'm used to it, and it's no longer uh, a negative thing anymore. And it's actually quite good. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, thinking about it, um, it actually looks cleaner. Uh, 
So yeah, I've, I've grown on it and it, and now I think it, it looks pretty clean. The third feature that uh, I do like is when when you scro uh, swipe down, when you uh, swipe down for um, for, for notifications, uh, when you unlock your iPhone with like Touch ID, it's it's still you you can still have the lock screen now because if you swipe down, you'll see pretty much what your lock screen looks like when you first uh, uh, press the home button. You'll you'll see exactly what your uh, your lock screen. Is like it's a, it's exactly a replica now of your lock screen, pretty much the notification center uh, up at the top, which is a pretty cool feature, and it actually kind of works if you if you press your foot uh, pre press on your f on any on on your finger uh, for Touch ID uh, that you use for Touch ID. It actually kind of works. It's Touch ID, and you, it brings you back up, uh, but you have to like probably like click on the button um, t for it to work, but. And you can use it on your different thumb as well, uh, but still, but still, it's a pretty, uh, a pretty, a pretty nice feature, really, for the new iOS to have. Um, so yeah, um, I really like those three features. Uh, they're really, really nice. And yeah, they're just really, really nice. Those are um, three features that I, I really really like and especially the second one the second one i i didn't like before i thought it was a bit a bit odd and a, a bit stupid really um because I, I i've been used to that like for so so long but it's grown on me it is it has grown on me over the past like couple of weeks since i've had ios 11 and i have to say it keeps constantly nagging me to update. Like I've literally had uh, the latest update for a couple of days, and it, it's already nagging me to get the new updates. But anyway, ho I hope you did enjoy uh, my top three features uh, that I really, really like uh, in iOS 11. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you in a few days with another Ashtet video. Until then, goodbye guys!